First of all, I want to thank everybody for being here today. We're so excited to be at St. John's Baptist Church right here in the heart of downtown Columbia. Um, this church obviously is a, a special place and we, we're, we're grateful to have these young folks with us today um, a, as we're here celebrating the Columbia Streams Art, one of our projects, which is our many libraries. As we were talking about trying to make impacts in our neighborhood, not only through art, we wanted to make sure we left something um, that would also help create some, um, I guess, creative thoughts in, in young people's minds, having books available to them, not just at the library, but around the corner from their house or at their daycare center or at their preschool. And so during the summer, we were able to purchase 24 of these mini libraries that were being placed across the city. And what's exciting about it is, is that four of these have been, they already been placed in our North Columbia community and one at the Lurie Senior Center. These mini libraries are, are placed here, not only for the community's use, but for our children's use and for those who really enhance our neighborhoods. They're all painted by children attending Columbia Parks and Recreational uh, Recreations uh, Department of After School Centers at the Catherine Belfield Center, the Booker Washington Heights Cultural Center, and along with Woodland Park. The mini library at the Lurie Center was painted by seniors attending an art class, uh, which was taught by our, uh, one of our local arts, Alicia Lake, uh, who also did an amazing job with our other streams project, which was our, our leaping trout. So if you didn't get a chance to see those, there are a few of those popping up around town. But the mini library is now the source for not only for these books and these opportunities for our kids really to expand their reading capabilities, but their creativity and hopefully dreaming, dreaming about what they can be in the future. I think we got a couple presidents in here, probably a mayor or two, maybe, I don't know, vice presidents, senators, CEOs. Um, you know, this, this preschool especially has some famous people that have come through its program, and I'm going to let our, our fearless neighborhood leader, Miss Regina Williams, talk about that. But I wanted to make sure that, you know, people understood that part of this was not only the exercise of getting our children involved in painting and placing for it, but people came out. Not only did we purchase some specific books to focus on certain attributes that we wanted to make sure that were available for our young people. But we got overwhelmed with books at City Hall when we put out a call for the community to bring books to stock these. So we have plenty of reading material. And with that, I'd like to uh, ask uh, Pastor uh, Dr. Jamie Graham to come up and say a few words. Pastor? Thank you. Thank you, Mayor Rickerman. To Mayor Rickerman, City Council, leaders and members of our community, we, the St. John Baptist Church and Preparatory School, appreciate you allowing us to partner with you, the City of Columbia, to be one of the host sites for the community mini libraries. Reading is important. Reading is essential. Reading can take you to places and spaces and back in time where you may not be able to do otherwise. Reading expands the imagination, inspires the heart, and gives hope and vision of a bright and glorious future. Rick Warren so cleverly said, Americans spend more money on beer than they are on books. No wonder their stomachs are bigger than their brains. <laughs> we don't want that to be said about our community. So we thank you for your partnership in lifting and empowering our children through reading. The very successful and eternally optimistic Zig Ziglar also knew the value of reading. Mr. Ziegler disciplined himself to read three hours every day
for over 25 years. It is no wonder that before his death in November of 2012, he was one of the most captivating speakers in our land. This reading box and mini library will allow many of our children to mentally travel far and wide and will prepare them to be great speakers, leaders, movers, and shakers of our community. Thank you for your partnership. This church's preschool has birthed many great leaders from the media mogul, Craig Melvin, to the basketball star, Asia Wilson, to the rising community leader, Gentara Williams. Thank you, Mayor Daniel Rickerman, for following in the footsteps of former Mayor Bob Coble, our former city councilman, E.W. Cromarty, and our former Mayor Steve Benjamin. You continue to believe in Booker Washington Heights, and we do stand on the positive side of change. Columbia, watch us grow. Now I'd like to invite up Councilwoman Tina Hurley. <laughs> Thank you, Mayor Rickerman. Um, it is certainly a pleasure to be here amongst friends and almost family um, here at St. John. Um, but we're really excited about the many libraries. Um, I, would, I will say is that for me, what books can do and where they can take you and the things that you can see that you may not see around you and the experiences that they have, I'm all about it. And I think that it helps create exposure um, it creates growth. I still read to this day, Mayor Rickman, 15 minutes a night, um, just to get away from all of the hectic things that we have going on. So um, I'm inspired by this project. I'm glad that we're having it so great for St. John. Um, and maybe we'll do a book challenge. We'll do a reading challenge. I'm always, I'm always challenging and then I forget, but I'm so proud of this project. I want to thank you, Mayor Rickman, for your vision for having it. And of course, to the church for allowing us to have it. Well, I think the pastor really said it best is that, that reading not only helps everybody capture the past, the present and the future, but actually to help you expand your mind. I think the quote from, from Ziegler, I'm starting to look down at myself and think maybe I need to read some more books uh, <laughs> because my belly is getting bigger than my head. Um, but I think what we're, what we're seeing here is, is another way for us to come together as a community. One, one, one little thing at a time that makes such a big difference and exposing books to our children in each part of our community, making sure that everyone has access is so important. And when I look at these young folks over here and I listen to the folks that came through here and where they've been, everything that we can do to give somebody an extra step up is important. And I think we're very glad that council supported these projects. We're very glad the communities embraced this project. And we look forward to many more projects like this.